Now we will add some web fonts using Google Fonts free service. We see here in the final page that our fonts are not the same as the default ones. So we go to the website fonts.google.com and here we see a list of fonts to choose from. The font we want to use for the headings is called Rubik, so we will just search for it in the upper right corner. And here we have it. So we click on C specimen. And here we can see the letters or the characters that's part of this font. We can also see the different stars, read a little bit about the designers and the font itself and see some statistics. In the bottom left corner, we can see the font pairing with other fonts. Like for example, right now it's being paired with Open Sans. We can also choose uh, the Roboto type, or Montserrat, Lato, or Libra, Baskerville, and Rubik. We'll go back to the first one where we have the Rubik as the heading and Open Sans for the paragraphs. So we'll click the plus sign to select the Open Sans and we'll also check the plus sign up in the upper right corner to select the Rubik font. So we can see we have two families selected. We'll just click the bar so this window slides open. We can see that we need to embed the font by copying this line of code here. So in a code editor, we'll scroll to the top and just under our two link tags, We'll paste this in as a new link tag. Now we have installed this, these two Google fonts. To use them, we go back to the browser, have a look at the bottom. We see that we need to specify them in this way. So we go back to our code editor and to give all the paragraphs and Basically, all the styles, the Open Sans font will target our body and then create the rule font family and then the font family Open Sans and the fallback should be a Sans Serif font. Now, all the elements on the page will basically be open sans as a default. Then we want to specifically target all our headings to have the Rubik font. So we target the H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6 heading elements and create the rule font family. The Rubik font family and the fallback should be a sans serif font again. Okay, let's see how this looks like in the browser. Here is our current page and we refresh it. And now we see that it has a new font all the way down the page. So that was how to use Google Fonts.